more on the former president's defense, let's go to ABC's Faith Abube. Faith, uh, the House impeachment managers relied heavily on video and images to make the case against Trump. What can we expect from the defense today? Well, Trump's defense team is also planning to use some video evidence in their arguments today. We don't know exactly uh, what that entails, but we do know it will involve some of the Democratic lawmakers uh, using some inflammatory language. But, of course, the Democrats have said that that is a false equivalence and that nothing they said in the past led to a deadly riot at the U.S. Capitol. The Trump team has said over and over again they don't believe that this impeachment trial should even be happening in the first place. So they plan to keep their, their case short. Uh, basically using three to four hours, according to one of the uh, attorneys yesterday. They will use about three to four hours instead of the 16 hours each side was given spread over two days. Of course, the Democrats used a majority of their time building that devastating case against the former president, saying that he incited the violence and that the mob were taking orders directly from him and that he should be convicted. Well, the Trump team strategy will be twofold. One will be that to argue that the, the former president's speech leading up to the insurrection was just merely political speech and that he never really told the mob to actually march on the Capitol and cause the violence that we saw on January 6th. They're going to argue that when Trump used the words like fight, for example, he was using that in a figurative sense. He never meant that literally. So we'll see that play out later on today. We'll also hear them. The second strategy they plan to employ here would be to say that this trial to convict a former president and an impeachment is really unconstitutional. But, of course, we saw that was already decided on Tuesday before this trial even began, Diane. And, Faith, we understand there's been some tension inside the defense team. What are you learning there? Well, you know that this tension even began long before uh, the impeachment manager started making their arguments. On that first day when we saw the Trump defense team take the floor and start arguing their case about the constitutionality of this trial, uh, a lot of people criticized the team for meandering uh, their case. Basically, they were all over the place, didn't really have a, a strong focus. Even Republicans came out of that saying they were confused by what, what the Trump team was trying to argue. So Trump was said to be furious even after that first day and now we're hearing he's even more angry considering even shaking things up as his team is getting ready to take the floor this afternoon. Uh, we're hearing that he's angry with Bruce Castor and what happened on Tuesday and we'll see whether that actually pans out but he's not very happy with this team. Of course this team just signed on just nine days ago after his original team abandoned this case. And Faith, Democrats need 17 Republican votes for a conviction. That's unlikely but one of Trump's big Big supporters. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley is now backing away from him, saying, quote, we never should have followed him, and she says we should never let that happen again. What kind of an impact could this trial have on his political power overall, even if he's not convicted? Well, according to Nikki Haley, that she believes that this impeachment trial should not be happening anyway, that it's a waste of time. However, she thinks that Trump will be isolated enough in the Republican Party that he will have no future. She says that we should never have followed him and we should distance ourselves from him. And she believes that's going to happen. But of course, Nikki Haley herself, a lot of people believe that she plans to run in 2024. So she might be making some political calculated moves here. We don't know for sure, but she's saying that Trump really let the GOP down and that the GOP should never have followed his uh, him after the January 6th insurrection. So we'll see how all of this plays out. But what, what really is clear is that the Democrats really don't have the support of the majority of Republicans to convict Trump in this trial. Even those who uh, are not even part of this trial are saying that this, this is a whole waste of time, including Nikki Haley herself. So we'll see how all of this plays out. We're expecting this trial to wrap up, hopefully, by this weekend. But of course, we'll see how it all plays out. All right, Faith Abube on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Faith. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.